Am I in focus? That is the question. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Just one quick thing before we get into the haul. I did post some Instagram stories and an Instagram post about the situation unfolding um, globally at the moment and I just wanted to say that over on this channel and over on my Instagram everything will be running business as usual um, I want this to be a safe space for you to relax and have fun and enjoy and have a little bit of an escape from what's going on um, on other social platforms and on the news just a little disclaimer I was sent all of these items by River Island as gifted but I am of no obligation to say anything whatsoever about them. I'm going to be showing my honest opinion on the fit, the colours, the sizing, everything really about the pieces and I'm going to be trying them all for you guys. So the first two pieces that I want to talk about I'm actually wearing. First things first um, is this blouse, let me tuck my hair back so you can see it. Um, it's got like a Damonte collar detail all around the sides and then frills going down the arms which I think is super super cute. Obviously you guys know I love pastel colours, I love mint green and I feel like this top is just so elegant and it looks so much more effort than it is to put on, like it looks like a real statement and yeah I think that it is a really versatile piece, you could wear this with like matching jeans like I have or white jeans or black jeans or even like a really cute belted skirt would look really cute with this. The shirt is £35 and I do feel like it feels worth the money, it's one of my new favourite shirts, I've actually worn this whole outfit about three or four four times now and I am a total outfit repeater and I have no guilt about it because it's adorable. Obviously the next piece are these jeans and um, as you can see here the detailing is so beautiful. They are also super flattering. I'm wearing a 12 in both pieces by the way but a 12 in the jeans. I am mostly in between sizes in jeans but for most River Island jeans I pick up a 12 because it gives them a little extra room. Um, I do have a lot of waist room in these but they fit my thighs and my bum pretty much perfectly. They're super cute and versatile and they're also really comfy. You know when you get jeans that are really hard and then when you sit down for a long period of time it digs into your stomach? This isn't like that at all. I would say that this is definitely a work from home friendly outfit because it looks so well put together. Wearing it you feel a bit more confident. I feel so put together and motivated. I don't know if you guys get that but when you wear you know, a really nice outfit you just feel a little bit more confident this is definitely one of those i could easily wear this at a desk all day and feel really comfortable just so you guys know the jeans are also a short leg and i believe that they are 42 pounds um they pretty much fit right down to like cropped ankle length i really need to get a stool so i can actually show you guys so even with the stool it's really difficult to show you guys but um, that is pretty much the fit of the jean and if I can, uh, you can see where they come up to on my ankle there. Right so next up I've got a pair of shorts, they are like a really cute um, animal print tiger print and they have like frills all down the front and all down the sides and on the bottom I'll show you on the stool afterwards you know I'm tiny and it also has a little tie waist here as well. Something important to note is they are also completely elasticated, which if I would have known, I probably would have got a size smaller. These are a 12 and they are very roomy, um, not necessarily in a bad way. I do feel like there is more bum and thigh material, if that makes sense. So there is a lot more material um, on the bum and thigh area, but I definitely could have gone for a 10 since there is the elastic is really like if I stretch it, it just keeps going. So on the positive side, there's a lot of food baby stretch uh, potential in these bad boys. There are really cute little frills at the bottom of the shorts, which I think are super cute. The shorts are 25 and they also have a matching like duster coat. See, it's quite long. Um, I also got this one in a 12 and it is 55 pounds. So let's give it a little bit of a try on. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw how long this was when it arrived, I was a bit like, oh, I'm not gonna like it. But I do feel like it looks like a really, again, a really well put together outfit. It has a rolled up sleeve detail, which I 
love. The pattern itself looks very luxurious and it also feels very thick and um, it does feel like it's worth that money. It's a very really well put together duster jacket. Oh, I went to put my hands in my pockets and it's got the stitching where you have to <clears throat> rip it open. Oh, do you feel like this bit's really satisfying? It also has, let me jump on the stool again. So it also has this detail on the side, obviously those are the shorts, um, and it's like a, almost like a little slit up the side. I think that as a co-ord it looks pretty adorable to be completely honest. Um, I really, really love the duster jacket, even though I didn't think I'd like it. It might be a tad bit long on me because I'm, you know, tiny. So next up are these yellow shorts. I believe they're £38 and I'm wearing a size 12 and I mean to be completely honest with you I just don't think that these shorts suit my legs if that makes sense. So they're like a lemon yellow colour and they have a buckle. The buckle itself is really beautiful it's almost like a pearlescent buckle there's a lot of detail. As you can see like the detail itself is really pretty and I feel like this top half of my body looks very neat and cute and it emphasizes my waist these are a size 12 like i said and there is like a good amount of room and yeah i think the top half looks great the bottom half i feel like the shorts almost cut out a really awkward part of my thigh so these are the shorts and they have a big 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 band here and pleating detail there they've got a v-notch if I do that you'll probably see it better it's like cut into a v here and it's got pockets as well which I do feel like they're really cute I'm just not sure about the where they cut on my thigh I feel like they cut at almost like an inch off the right length for my legs the shorts also come with a blazer this is 60 pounds and this is a size 12 also it also comes with a blazer which is a puff sleeve which I really like. I haven't seen many um, brands do puff sleeve blazers and I do feel like once it's done up and it's all puff sleeve it does look very cute. The buttons also have a lovely detailing on them. I mean it's an absolutely beautiful cord, but I feel like if I had maybe um, a bit more confidence in my legs or a different shape down there it, it may be a little bit more flattering but for me I feel like I love the blazer but the shorts just don't sit at the right place they are stunning but on me I'm not entirely sure next up is this top and I have actually just shot an IGTV with it because I love it so much it has really really nice puff sleeves with crochet is that what you'd call it but it's like laser cut and as you can see they're like almost like flowers on both and then they've got elasticated armbands. This is a size 10 and it fits really really well. It's also super comfortable because the material is like a like a stretchy stretchy t-shirt material if that makes sense. So it's very comfortable very breathable because obviously you've got all this air flowing through your arms through these laser cut holes. Again this top is a really good piece for work from home because it looks so put together. I feel really pretty in this top. Does that make sense? I feel really pretty. I feel really elegant. Right next up is this skirt and when I did order this skirt I did have a few fears. This line and this ruching was concerning me but now that it's on I actually quite like it or I'm in between not knowing if I really like it or like it a bit. Do you know that really awkward in between where you're like, do I? Do, do I like it? Do I? I think the frills on the bottom, if you can see here, they are super cute. There's like two frills on top of each other. I hope you guys can see that. And there's like a line down the middle with some elastic in there. And then two seams running parallel down here. So there's like the elastic and then the two seams and then everything else is ruched up to the waistband which also has a little bit of give to it. It's a little bit elasticated. So I mean maybe it's a skirt that I need to style with a few items and see how I feel about it over time but it's super comfortable and I do feel like it's really flattering. It cuts my thighs at just the right place. Yeah it feels really 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 comfortable. So there we go. I hope you guys can see that a little bit 
better. Yeah, it comes up to my mid thigh maybe. If you are maybe five foot five and above, I do not know where this skirt would come up to on you. Is that motorbike done? No, it's not done. Bro. So I, I actually, having a look. Where are you going? So after walking around in this for a little bit, I do think that I really like both pieces. I like it also as an outfit. I have come to terms with the skirt. And the more I look at it, the more the more flattering I think that it is. So I really do think that after wearing this for a little bit, I have been converted to the skirt. Next up is another pair of shorts. They're also 25, like the zebra? No, tiger. Like the tiger one. They also have the same ruffle detail down the front and ruffle detail at the bottom. The only difference is that this doesn't have a waist tie, which I'm a little bit confused at because the waist tie on the other one was one of the nicest points about it so you could tighten it around the waist these are a 12 and they are very 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 big they have a lot of stretch to them so i would say size down if you're in between sizes if i do that and take an inch off the waist they fit a lot a lot nicer so they are a little bit big but then again like i said earlier you get more thigh and bum room so that is a pro do i think they're cute yeah i think they're cute just thought I would show you guys the shorts up close. Um, as you can see, there is a lot of room, and like I said, I would like an inch off maybe, so maybe a size smaller would work. These are a 12, and they are very, very, very roomy, uh, but the fit themselves, oh, it's just so flattering with the frills. Um, I think they're a very flattering pair of shorts. I also picked up this leather jacket because it has puff sleeves, and I love puff sleeves, and this is a leather jacket with puff sleeves. I am, I am intrigued. It is a faux leather, and it is a size 12 and 60 pounds. So let's give it a go. I hope this gives me all of my 80s fantasy vibes. I really, really, really like it. I think that it's very cool, very chill, very my vibe. The only problem is, and I'll come a bit closer to you guys. Okay, the only problem that I have with this jacket is that it doesn't have like a button or a zip up the side so really I would like this to be quite tight so then the sleeves would puff up a little bit more like that but it's right at the bottom um, and to be honest I could easily put my hand through it so it kind of just hangs a little bit um, I'll walk back and I'll see if I can show you guys back there. So if you can see what I mean, without me trying to make this slouchy, which I do anyway, I love slouchy things, but without me trying to make it slouchy, it is a bit like I'm wearing my mum or dad's jacket from the 80s, which isn't a bad thing because this is a vintage look. So to be honest with you, I can get away with that. It loses that puff sleeve. If it has a little um, clip or something here, like a pin, as you can see, it would bring the puff sleeve up a little bit instead of it dropping down my arm. But other than that, I mean, I really like it. This is my favorite piece so far. I absolutely love this piece. <laughs> Next up is minis. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. When this dress first arrived, I was like, what, no. No, why, why is it so bright? Why is it so green? Why couldn't it be like a, a light green or a lime green? This is a straight up neon green and I love it <laughs> and I am shocked I'm probably a shocked as you are but it's so so cute hopefully I can show you guys it's got like the square neckline which is really really pretty and the puff sleeves if I show you this here um it's all elasticated like that and it's not tight elastic either so it's not like cutting into your wings or anything um really really cute and i love it i think that it's so pretty it's so comfortable it's a smock dress but it doesn't flow out too much it's not too unflattering from the side i actually think that it looks like a really cute little doll dress or yeah baby doll dress things we call it it's gonna show you guys the length so on me it comes maybe just under the mid mid thigh okay so this one is an online exclusive so you can only get this by shopping river island online and it is 36 pounds i feel like you could wear this with the leather jacket that i was wearing before and i think it's a really versatile piece which i did not think when i saw it online it's a green smock dress 
like bright green and here I am, converted again. I really, really like it. Now, this piece is from the Petite collection from River Island, and I would say it's still pretty long. It has an elasticated waist, and it also has elasticated arms where the frills are. It's also worth noting that it also has an underskirt, so this material is all pretty sheer, and then it also has a nude underskirt underneath. It does come up to there, so like just above where my knee is, whereas I'd usually have a mini probably about there. So it is still pretty long. Not necessarily a bad thing though, it means that taller girls out there could definitely buy this dress and would have absolutely no problem with the length. So this is a belt that I got from Zara? I want to say Zara last year. What I do is usually just put my hands underneath and give it a little, a little tuck in and suddenly the skirt is a lot a lot shorter hopefully you guys can tell the difference now but i feel like this length is probably better for me personally um, and i think it just it does it looks really cute so this is the next dress that i got it's also floral it is the same material pretty much the same material as the last dress that i had on but this one isn't flocked it's just patterned um it also doesn't have an elasticated waist but it has beautiful pleated detail down the front and then just almost like a, um, a loose waistline so it's almost like a smock dress but as you can see it has some shape to it so it's more like a tea dress maybe i would say and these sleeves are lovely and puffed and flowy it's a very flowy dress it feels very dainty and pretty on which is what I love in a summer dress. So this one is regular length. It comes to about just above my knee, maybe a little bit, a little bit more. It is a really nice length for the cut, for it being like almost like a tea smock dress. I think that it works really, really nicely and yeah, it's adorable. Okay, so I'm a little bit unsure about this next piece. It's size 10 and it was 50 pounds and I mean, it does look really pretty, like from the front. I think it's very dramatic and the frills look really cute. I mean, the fit is really nice, but I feel like this looks a lot better in photos and on camera than it does in person. It kind of cuts slightly, slightly weird. And I'm not sure if it's as flattering as it possibly could be, if you know what I mean. I'm wondering how it's coming up on camera because in person, it does look very flattering and pretty from the front. I feel like from the side and the back, these wing bits that stick out come across like slightly strange. But the dress from the front looks really pretty. Like if you have some pictures to take and you want them to look banging, this is the dress for you. It's very voluminous. It's very, oh, very fashion. One thing I would say is the belt is very slippy. So like it will just slide along very easily. So you have to keep pulling it tight but then as you walk around and you move it pulls slightly out again and then you have to pull it back but I think that is just the nature of the dress it is more of like a look dress as opposed to a practical dress if you know what I mean um it is very much like a pretty cocktail dress a photo ready dress but it is it is very flattering and very pretty I'm not entirely sure um if the back is as cute as the front. I haven't seen any other silhouettes like this on the high street. So if you're looking for something different for a cocktail evening, maybe an event, maybe you've got a birthday coming up and you, you want the photos to look banging, this is going to be one for you. Right, okay. I absolutely love this place, Ooh. I think that it is stunning, but I think that I am dead between sizes, which is gutting, because I know that this doesn't fit perfectly, um, which is a 10, and I don't think a 12 would fit me perfectly either I think it would be too big so it does up the back so it's got a little zip and it does up the back um, and it does up like it's fine but if I stand to the side you can probably see I'm a little bit squished in if you know what I mean like the girls are the girls are in there you know um <laughs> the waist is fine I've actually got quite a lot of room in the waist and the actual shorts themselves are very roomy the sleeves are lovely it's got a lovely square neckline which I love, it's just this section here, it is very, it's very tight, no way in hell I'd get a bra on underneath this, it is just, just about doing up. Yeah, I do, I do still really like it, I think the material is lovely, it's, um, it is a bit like, if you guys watched my Zara video, I'll put it up here if you haven't watched it, there was a top in there that was, um, like Rain Mac noise machine, 
material, I would say. So it's kind of like that noise machine, anoraki type material, but not in a bad way. Like it's nice and thick. It feels very luxe. Like it feels very, almost like slippery. Like if I put my arms up and you can see the fit on my body, it's very like, oh yes. And the sleeves themselves are also really well put together. I feel like this was the right material for this dress dress placing it's 55 pounds and i feel like that's actually quite a bargain for this i think you'd end up paying a lot more for something like this on um maybe like asos or something like that and it is yeah really well put together if i show you here as well the sleeves are elasticated and also there is a line of almost like that plastic sticky plastic to keep it held up um on the top also just showing you guys the full fit and the length. I think that the shorts are just flowy enough and the bodice is just tight enough. It's very, very flattering. And I, yeah, no, I think I'm a little bit obsessed with the sleeves. If I was gonna get one of this play suit or the dress that I just tried on, I would definitely get this play suit. I think it's also a lot more comfortable, a lot more free. I think you could definitely wear this in the day and the night due to how you style it as well. I think it's gonna be very easy to style because it's a standout piece in itself. So we're moving on now to middies, or in my case, maxis, because I am so short a lot of the time, middies do come up maxi on me unless they are made to be a petite fit. So this is actually listed as a midi dress on the River Island website, but because I am so small, it is like a full on. Yes, that was a slipper actually. It's glamorous this job. Yeah, it's definitely a maxi fit on me. Um, if anything, it actually is just just like touching the floor, like just. So I'm gonna belt this up and see if I can do the trick that I did earlier and kind of tuck it in and bring the length up a little bit. And I actually think that it works really nicely with this dress. Looking at it in the mirror, I'm like, oh yeah. So I would say this is now a true maxi fit on me. You can just see just my little feet popping out the bottom and it is still looking really, and the puff sleeves again, they're elasticated really well as well. They're not too tight, they don't dig in, which is great news and I love the back, which is a lace up back. Obviously I can't tie it up myself at the minute. It's that poplin material, so it looks really pretty on. Let me grab the stool and I'll show you what it looks like. Try moving further away so you can kind of see, but if I like pull it up, you'll see that's a lot of length. But it's, yeah, it's a true maxi length on me. If you're taller than five foot two, it may be getting closer and closer and closer to the midi length that it should be. But I really, really enjoy it as maxi, a maxi dress. Okay, so this is the final clothing piece I have to show you. And I think this might be one of my favorites out of all of the things that I have shown you today. I just think this is such a bring you joy type of dress. The color itself is enough to spark joy in me for sure. It's got this detailing on the sleeves. It's like ruched with some elastic with a little frill detail. The neckline as well is also elasticated. It's very, um, not loose elastic, but it doesn't dig into you like at all. It just sits really, really nicely. But yeah, it is a maxi length on me. On someone taller, it would probably be a midi length, but I really like it as a maxi length. I feel like it's really nice and flowy. It's not too tentish. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorites um, out of the whole haul. The color itself is just so pretty and I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. So I think these might be my favorite meals of the season so far. I absolutely love them. You can see here they've got a wooden heel detail. It's almost like a little ball, which is really pretty. And then the rest of them are woven. They've got like a little stripe detail um, on one side of them. And yeah, the sole is also wooden, which I absolutely love. These are a size four, I believe. So I'm a 4.5, so I sized down on these. But I could have sized up or down, to be honest with you. I think they would have fit the same, they're extremely comfortable, and they are 35 pounds, which I think is well worth the money, considering the heel is so pretty. They almost look quite designer, they look a lot more expensive than River Island, and yeah, I am obsessed. The last pair of shoes I have to share with you guys are these bad boys. They are almost like a sandal with a lovely spongy little base. The straps are really comfortable, they're almost like, I'm not sure if they're real leather, I'm not sure what material they are, but on both sides they've got that lovely soft material so they don't cut into your feet at all. They have also got a square toe and the heel is almost like a cut block heel, like it's very thin, like rectangular block heel. I hope I'm showing you. Okay. Um, and these were £32 and a size 5. I could have easily done with a 4, but 
Um, the five fits fine. I mean, they are an open back shoe, so really it doesn't make too much of a difference. So you can see there, the heel is just so different looking, the square toe, love the colour, they also come in a few different colours, I think they come in black and red currently, I'll link them below anyway, and um, yeah, I think they'll be a, a really good staple for me this summer. Right, we are on to bags, and this might be one of my new favourite handbags that I have recently. It's that micro bag size that I really really like. It also comes with a long strap which goes on here and here and you can wear it as like a crossbody bag but it also looks very very cute as a clutch. Very very cute. It also has the monogram design which is reminiscent of a few luxury designer brands at the moment and I feel like this is a really key piece for my wardrobe for this season. I feel like you can wear this bag with a lot of things, you can wear it with t-shirt and jeans, you can wear it with a dress like this, and it just adds that little statement piece that you need to pull the outfit together. Just thought I'd show you up close, it also has this detail here as well. The colour is absolutely gorgeous, I love the neutral tones and the size, oh my god how adorable guys. Last but not least, we have this adorable lilac bag. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you will know that I'm obsessed with pastels and this I am equally obsessed with. It is a lovely croc design, you probably see better on the back. It is a lilac croc and it also has pearl and jewel details on the front and then the handle itself is little pearls. The pearls actually spin as well so it's a little weird to hold but I think if you would hold it, yeah, if you would hold it like this it wouldn't make too much of a difference but holding it like this is a little bit manic. It is so pretty, it also again comes with a long strap that goes here and here and you can wear it as like crossbody. Just going to turn my exposure down so I can show you guys a little bit better up close, but you could probably see it a little bit better now. The lilac croc material and then it has these jewels. Tell me that's not cute. That is blooming adorable. Look at it. Oh my god. So that is it. That is everything for my River Island haul. Let me know below in the comments what your favourite piece was and what you weren't too sure about. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'm making content at least two or three times a week with fashion, styling, beauty, homeware. You can also follow me on Instagram for more style inspo on the daily. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!